Hi there everyone. I'm recording this video on my phone, my iPhone. We'll see how it works updating, uh, uploading it from iMovie here on the iPhone. Uh, we're just going to do a little video here about white balance on your Next 7 and other Next cameras, at least many of them. So check it out. Hello folks. This is John Adams with ReflectedPixel.com. I'm just on the road here and I wanted to get a video up about white balance. Now you know you can get to your white balance in the brightness and color menu, choose white balance, and you can set uh, various settings. What you may not have known is that you can actually push these settings wherever you like. Let's say you're in auto white balance and you want it to generally uh, be a little bit warmer, or maybe it's uh, too warm for you, you want to cool it down. Well, hit your option button and look. You can push it wherever you want. You can actually see the screen change colors as I change these. Personally, for me, I generally want the auto white balance to be just a bit warmer than it was. So I go up one to two squares here, depending on what I'm shooting. But uh, that way, your white balance will be a lot more accurate when it comes in. And you can actually do this with any of these. If you your flash seems a little... Uh, your flash white balance is maybe too uh, too warm. Well, go ahead and cool it down. You can go in any direction you want. Okay, also, if you have something that's gray, preferably a gray card, but you can actually use just about anything, it's going to um, neutralize whatever you point this at. So if we go to Custom Setup and hit Set, press the shutter button, click. I'm shooting at a gray card right here. You can see it shows me the temperature of the light on that gray card and what it's set to, and you get a little preview there. And then, of course, your live view mode um, shows what it looks like color-wise. Now, you can also take that custom and hit Option and say, well, that was pretty good, but let's make it just a bit cooler. And you can tweak that custom white balance to suit your desired taste. Uh, this is especially nice if you're shooting JPEGs. You can always change the white balance in RAW. But you know, it's nice if you can just get it close and use use the files as they come out of the camera. Hey, thanks for watching this episode. Uh, be sure to check back. Uh, sign up for the newsletter here at the homepage of ReflectedPixel.com. Should have some more news and links for you. I'm excited to see what comes out at Photokina. Thank you.